Catherine Torrington and I'm the online news reporter for Varsity News. I'm joined here with Professor Kelly Chabali, a UCT researcher and founder of the drug discovery centre H3D, who has recently been named one of the top 50 leaders of the world. Thank you so much for agreeing to this interview. We really appreciate your time. Thank you for having me on the show. Um, so just a bit of background about yourself. Can you tell us a bit to be named one of the top 50 leaders in the world? What does that mean to you? First of all, uh, I would say that this was completely unimaginable and uh, unexpected. Uh, what it means to me really is, is to be delighted um, and grateful that someone has recognized my leadership of um, uh, having the vision uh, to do something that nobody ever thought could be done. But I think to be recognized at the global stage in that way, I think it's very satisfying, it's overwhelming, uh, it's unbelievable, um, it has happened of course, but it's, it, it means a lot, it means that uh, people have taken notice of uh, the leadership uh, in creating uh, this integrated centre. And I think it's credit not just to me personally, it's credit to uh, the University of Cape Town. This is my home, this is my department, Department of Chemistry. And it's credit to the Southern Government because they have been you know, our supporters uh, you know, over the period. And of course also tremendous credit to our international funders, uh, like the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, uh, Medicines for Malaria Adventure, uh, Novartis, uh, or the pharmaceutical partners that, that have been there from the beginning in terms of supporting the infrastructure development. And then a last question for any aspiring students. What advice would you have for any students who wish to pursue chemistry or drug discovery in Africa and make a difference in Africa? Yeah, so first of all, uh, I, I would say that um, three things. Number one, make the most of every opportunity. Because before you know it, one thing leads to another, leads to another. Things just don't happen suddenly. <laughs> it's a process. Secondly, be consistent. Be consistent in something you believe is the right thing to do because you are the only person who's convinced about it. So keep doing it, keep doing it. Recognition or whatever will come if that's what you're looking for. But just stick to what you think is the right thing to do. And thirdly, is my final piece of advice. Remember, that you are unique. Because when people tell you about their experience and what works and doesn't work, that is their experience. There is not a single human being who has experienced everything there is to be experienced. So we can learn from other people with experience, but, but nobody has experienced everything. So that's all I would say to people is just make use of every opportunity because some people don't even have opportunities. Yeah. And before you need, before you know it, one thing leads to another, leads to another. I never imagined in my own experience. It was never my goal or my ambition uh, you know, to be recognized. No, no, I just, for me it's a calling. I respond to it and I make the most of it. And before I know it, one thing leads to another. As they say, 3% of people make things happen. 5% watch them as they happen. And the rest wonder what happened. That's what happens when you make use of the opportunity that you've been given, be grateful. Be consistent and know that you're